Goats Back and Fishing North Atlantic, my least popular series in the very longest of times. <laughs> but for the people who watch it, welcome to my new boat. I did some on live stream the other day. We now own a boat called the Lobster Taint. And we're going to go do some fishing. Now, I, I got a little tip that there's supposed to be fish around here somewhere. And I bought the tip and then they never told, they never, it never showed up. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like these need to go. Um, I don't see the the tip. Like I, I paid for the tip. I paid three thousand dollars for the tip, uh, and I just I I wanted I wanted just the tip, but I didn't get it. So we're going to autopilot our way just to the middle of the ocean here. Um, oh why can't I? Oh yeah, because I'm still in dock. So I'm gonna go out there. I've upgraded the boat slightly. Nothing too special. I got a bigger engine because I, I like going fast. Um. And I, I upgraded my, what do they call those things? Um, storage. Yes, that's what it was. Storage. Yes. Let's go. Let's go out to here. Don't don't run into any other boats, please, because I had that problem last time. Ah, look at boat. Oh, geez, that was close. Oh God. No, those are my fishing grounds, bud. Get away. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh. Well, let's autopilot our way to that. What is that? Okay, what, are we, what is this? The, oh, the German Grand Bank. So we're going to look for fish. Because I got a bunch of these little fish line things I would like to uh, to put out. And it looks like we may have some fish in the area, possibly. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these long line fishes. But this lobster taint seems like a pretty good boat. So far, uh, I think it was called the Lenore, maybe. I sold my old boat. I figured out how to do that. I'm not, I'm seeing a lot of lobster out here. Maybe some, some, some Pollock? Yeah, there's some Pollock out here too. I like Pollock, it's a good fish. They're weirdly cute. Okay, let me see. Oh, we're heading the wrong way. Let's go, let's go this way. And I think I'm just gonna, because we're long line fishing now, right? So I think I'm just gonna go zip up here just a ways, just to get away from the area that I'm in. And uh, we're gonna gonna see what shows up on the little radar thing. All right, let's see. I I don't have that many. I can only hold thirteen thousand kilograms of fish. Fish. So I'm not sure what we're gonna run into out here. But hopefully, we run into something because I'm a little low on fuel. Well, not low, but I'm always concerned. Okay, let's. We got a few fish here. Let's um. Let's cruise along at this speed. I'm gonna hop out of my chair. Ah, fix my frame rate. You figured out what that was. Are you baited or are you unbaited? Oh, this is an unbaited long line. Well, poop. Okay, hang on a second. I can go back and get baited lines. Oh, my goodness. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's now nighttime. Aurora Borealis is showing us some love. And we're headed, I believe, north. Well, maybe not. What, what's the right? Yeah, north. Here we go. I'm not seeing any fish. These fish don't matter. It's the fish at the edge of the radar I need to worry about. Here we go. Yeah, we're getting some here. Let's let's drop some lines, because like, what's the worst that happens, right? We drop a few lines, they don't work. We don't have a ton of money, but let's uh, let's start dropping some lines. We should really hire a crew member, I think, this episode, maybe? There we go. Just, uh, yeah, see, it's a 100-meter line, so it's got to, it, the, the boat's just going to cruise along here. And we're going to put out these these 100 meters of line. Boy, it's a pretty night, eh? Look at that. And it takes a while, to be honest. And then uh, someone told me I need to chop up the fish. See, I got a gut fish. I don't know how to do that, so that could be, I can make more money doing that. They said, get away from my lines, you jerk boat. What are you doing? Get out of here. I got things I'm doing here. Jeez. All right, come on. We're at 80 some meters here. I bought the longest lines. I'm not sure that was the smartest thing to do, but we did it. Are, are we not moving forward uh, anymore? What's going on? Maybe I got to set the autopilot. Let's see here. Let's set the autopilot to go to like here just so it can. And then we're going to autopilot at say, I don't know, like seven 
No, 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 don't do that now. Okay, crap. Well, we should be at, well, great. We're gonna have one that's too far away. Now this only goes out at a certain speed, but it's when it gets done that I'm concerned. Because on the map now we have one that's really far away, but we'll, we'll, we'll pretend it's okay. I really should check the radar, but I don't care that much. It's more about just getting out on the water for me. I'm pretty broke right now, so maybe I shouldn't be concerned about it. But I am not ever concerned about that. All right, come on. We just got to get a few of these out, and we should be good to rock and roll. I'm doing krill, um, which I don't know. I should have really... I did krill last time. That's why I'm doing it this time. I really should have researched this more. It's very dark out here. But wait a minute. Don't I have work lights I can put on? Hang on a second. I'm going to check see if I got my work lights I can put on. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, work lights. There we go. Searchlight and interior. Oops. There. Okay. Ah, that's better. Beautiful. Okay, these are terrible lighting, though. This is where sh soft shadows come into play really well in games. <laughs> where you can have a little more of a soft shadow with some reflective bounce lighting. When people say that, oh, um, ray tracing is just a gimmick. It's not. Like, it really isn't. The soft shadow. Like, go play Metro Exodus, the enhanced edition that has all the ray tracing stuff. And then tell me how the lighting doesn't make a whole different game out of that. Like, it, it, it makes nice bounce lighting, which is excellent. Now, don't get me wrong. Regular standard lighting is fine. It's just... It's so nice when you can do all of it and make it look super realistic. Like in this container. See how dark it is in there? Yeah. <laughs> that would be like that. It would be bouncing off these sides of this thing. All right. Let's get going. We got to plant some... So let me go plant these down and then I'll uh, get back to you when they're all out and we will uh, scoop them up. Okay. So we soaked the, soaked the lines... Uh, as one does and now we got to find them and I think I'm in line they've been so good for 18 hours you can see when they turn blue they've been over this has been out for 20 hours see those ones aren't quite done yet but we're getting there so there was a problem I noticed I ran out of fish on the radar but I kept laying my stuff because only had a couple of lines left so hopefully uh we'll be able to still pull some fish in <laughs> on the lines that I did get I don't have that much storage anyway so we might as well see what it does, right? Like, what's the worst that happens? We we don't get a few fish. We're we're, we're gonna we're gonna run out of money here at some point. I can feel it. Ah, uh, because I'm terrible at games like this. <laughs> now this one I actually laid way back here, which makes me think that's why I missed some of the fish. But that's okay. All right, let's grab this. Here we go. If we can get it in line, this is so hard to line up sometimes. And zooming in doesn't really do that much. Okay, here we go. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. And got it. Okay, now. Perfect is what we want. Oh, that was good. Okay, come on. Now you got to play this little mini game to hook your little fishes. Perfect. And the better you do, the more weight and fish you get. Ah, mini games. I like, I like mini games. <laughs> Not all the time, but for something like this. If you had to manually do it, it would suck. So I'm okay with the, the mini-game part of this. Like, we had to reach out with the hook and actually hook it. Like, it would take so long to learn. And I, I don't have time to be learning things. That's ridiculous. There we go. Uh, and oop, there we go. Look at this. Look at all these perfects I'm getting. Not bad, not bad. Oh, nice. Look at this. See, we're, we're going to get good weight. I'm going to say... We're going to say... 500 kilos off of this. Oh, that was just a good. But, you know, whatever. Don't judge me, man. It's my first time really doing this Ugh. on a recording. I did a little bit on the live stream, but not a lot. I only did one run with it. And someone made fun of the mini games, and they were wrong. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. Two more. Got it. Getting a lot of these redfish. And perfect. All right. How much was that? 5,000 kilograms of fish in one shot? Well, okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go autopilot right to about there. Okay, now it should be off to my right a little bit. There it is. I think we're going to end up filling the boat. 
Well, it depends, because like I said, I, I got those 5,000 kilos of fish, but, like, some of these lines ended up in water that was not very fish populated. Like, very, very few fish. So, oh, now I'm getting a lot of fish. Fish? What the heck? What the heck, bro? We can go a little faster than this. Let's go. I like this, because when you catch the fish, it stops the boat. And then I can try gutting fish. Maybe I can do that. All right, let's see. I'm not very good at this, so I, 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 lining this up is, is hard for me. Ugh. I noticed some of the fishes have, or fishes, some of the boats have bow thrusters and stuff so you can like slide sideways, which would be amazing. All right, we're gonna, I think we're gonna get this one, maybe. Oh no, it's drifting out. Whoa. What do you mean it's not on the starboard side of the boat? Oh, oh, okay, I get it. There we go, it has to be all on one side of the boat, got it. No problem. Whoop, there we go. Oh yeah, see this is only five fish on here. So I think I, I only got one good line, but I have to haul my lines in, which sucks. Because you just know there's not going to be anything on them. But, you know, still. Four or five thousand kilos of fish ain't terrible. What's that? That's ah, 700. Not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. This boat is slower than my old boat, but that's okay. It's also shorter by about four or five feet. But it is a little more stable because I think it's wider, a little wider, which is nice. Ah, the open fishing road, this is what I like. The long fish, all right, here we go. I don't want to come into these things too hot. I'm afraid I'll zip right through them before I can pick them up. I got the buoys with the lights on them so I can see them easier, which is nice. Oh, here we go. There's 11 fish here. That's good. Well, it's not really 11 fish. It's like... Just the percentage of like how uh, full the line can be. And I think the max is 15 a line. I'm not sure. I have no idea what I'm doing. What kind of commercial fisherman do you think I am? I'm scared of the ocean. It's not a creepy crap in the ocean, man. It's not that even. I've talked about this before. I don't have thalassophobia. What I have a fear of is boats underwater. There's something scary about shipwrecks to me. It doesn't stop me from looking them up. I find them very fascinating, but there's something about seeing a ship's hull underwater that just freaks me out. I don't know why. It's a weird phobia to have. Luckily, I don't run into it too often in my regular life. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. Looks like we've got some Pollock here, though. Or maybe Silver Hake? What is that? I have no idea. I don't know my fish that well. It was a salmon, I can tell you. All right, here we go. And onward. Excellent. Okay, we're getting up to the limit of what we can actually take in here. Uh, so this might be our last one until we can come back, because... And then I risk to run the risk of oversoaking. If something's in the water too long, then it kills whatever's on the line, right? So, and then you're just paying to rebait your fish or your whatever you use for bait. There we go, baby. Come on. It seems like when it's dark, it seems like it doesn't move very fast. So like you're just kind of always like, I'm actually going as fast as it says I'm going. And I always seem to end up harvesting at night for some reason. Come on. Got it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go over here. I wonder if gutting them would lessen the weight. You think that's a thing? 
Because we're going to be over at this point. Oh, I should have got the I should have got the bigger hold. I got one size bigger. I should have got the way bigger one. This is my own fault. Hubris. There we go. Yeah, at least I'm not doing all perfects this time, so I'm not going to get as big of a load. Oh, I like a, I like a big load. All right, here we go. Scapegoat quote of 2023. He likes a big load. <laughs> Okay, okay, perfect fish. Come here. There we go. There's so many fishes here. Ooh, I like fish. Get in there, and then you... I can hire people to do this. I don't know why I'm doing it myself. All right, who wants to be hired on my boat? Oh, yeah, we lost 12... Look at that, we lost 1,200 kilos of fish. So, can I get back to the... Yeah, let's get out of here for a second. Can I go and gut fish now? How does this work? Okay, start. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, this is going to take a while. Oh, no. Whoops. Did it's going to keep doing this? Oh, God. This is not... My quality is terrible. Oh yeah, so we're not we're not great at this gutting business. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I, exactly I'm doing wrong here, but if I just go real careful. See, that one was better, but doing it that slow sucks. Okay, we're getting better slowly. Okay, so fish gutting is not is not my forte. Gross, but delicious. So someone said I can get more money for pre-gutted fish. And Ah, this is this is taking so let me get back to you when I'm done gutting here because this is going to take a little while we're hiring a gutter the next time is what we're doing Okay, we got it at all. All right, are we, are, does that mean we're full then? Is that is that what's happening now? Are we are we full? Let's see here. Go to the map. Um, <clears throat> where's our percentage of our? How do we? I've seen it before. Where is it? No, that's not it. Wow, look, gutted fish. I'm not sure to tell how full I am now. I think I'm full. Um. 
but I can't remember how to tell. Because I had, I think I have 13,000. Ah, I don't even know at this point. Wait a minute. Maybe it's on here. No, that's just the buoy and all that. Catch. Uh, gear. No, that's not what I wanted. All right, well. Great. Well, let's go sell it, because I, like I said, I think we're full. And that's all I know. Oh, here we go. I have a half a kilo free. So we're going to have to go drop this off. So uh, we should probably go to Yarmouth because it's closest. And uh, I'm, those, those things are going to over soak. I can feel it. No, it's V, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's like to sell your catch. Sure. Hey, that's not bad. I lost 12% because of my gutting. But 47 grand isn't bad. All right. Let's, um... Um, go to town, go to the, the crew. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Is anybody good at gutting here? Hand gutting. There we go. This guy's not bad. Oh, this guy's pretty good. 30 grand to hire you. How, how, are you even worth that? Yeah, I'll hire you. But who's cooking then? He's also not bad at long lining. So let's hire him. All right, let's um, let's get back out there and go pick up these things. Yeah, that's fine. My my lines are still out here, so we gotta go. Where's my crew? No, I don't want to be rescued. Crew, here it. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, so let's uh, go to the map. We're gonna get our little course out here, back to our. See if we can get any uh of these picked up before it runs out. Hopefully we'll get some daylight here. Let's see. All right. So you, oh yeah. So then we got crew, right? So can we put you on long line hall then? Yes, there he goes. Look, he's doing something. What's he doing? <laughs> do I still have to capture it, or is he going to do it for me? That that I'd kind of like to know. I, although, I think some of these have, like, zero fish on them, so... We're going to find out. We're going to F around and find out. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we got it. Look at that. Oh, he's good, good. Like, he's doing good. Okay, good. So he's just going to do that while I kind of cruise on to the next one, I guess? Oh, no, I can't move while he's doing it. Okay. Well, that's fine. He can do his little his little thing here. What? Did you see that one fly away? <laughs> okay, good. I wonder if I should haul while he guts. Because he'll probably do a much better job gutting than I will. And since... Oh, he only did okay on that one. See? Good luck, bud. Oh, look. He gets uh, tired pretty quick, eh? Or I think that's his, I think that's his meter there. Thomas. Oh, look at him flopping around in there. I never saw that before. Well, I kind of saw it on the corner of my screen when I was doing it, but... Jeez, how many are on this thing? Oh, jeez, you got it perfect. Nice. Okay, so why don't you go um, hand gut, buddy? While I haul in the fish. Because you seem to be probably better at that than I will be. At least as far as I can tell. You, you hand gut. Because that, that job I was terrible at. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to over-soak these lines. 
But for 30 grand plus a percentage of the catch, he better be okay at his job because what's he say? 1.7% of the catch he does. And besides, this keeps me from having to do it and I don't want to do it. So <laughs> here we go. And I think I'd probably get more perfects than him. Here we go. There we go. Then you just keep gutting those things, bud. And I'll keep doing this. And we will make profits. It's weird that you don't have anywhere to store the fish except on the deck. But I guess, like some of the big ships I know are like factory ships. And they'll have like freezers and, and like like factories basically on the ship to do the work when they catch the fish. So like it's ready to go the second it comes back to the port. Or harbor? Yeah, I think that's kind of neat. Although, I feel bad for all the poor fish. <laughs> that's not... It's like always sad when I see a whaling vessel. That's sad. Okay, there we go. All right, let's move it on. What does that say? Oh, look at this. He's got a couple five-star... Guts there. I'm not sure what that means. So that's how much we can take in, right? That's all our storage. That's okay. I'm drifting off course a little bit here. We'll get it back in there. There we go. Here's my weekly challenge for you guys. Go out and watch the cartoon Raccoons. The Raccoons. It's an old Canadian cartoon. You'll find it on uh, YouTube episodes of it and stuff. Or Crave if you have which is a Canadian service. What a great show that was. Sugar... Okay, yep, we overshot. We overshot. Come on. I didn't have it lined up correct. If you're going to come. You better come correct. Got it. No fish. Low population. That's what I figured. But I want my lines back in. Because I think a lot of these ended up being outside the fishing zone. Because I noticed my radar was acting up. And everything went away. Now, I'm not sure to tell how much he's he's gutted at this point. Oh, wait a minute. Is he doing it right now? It's his fresh fish is going down. I wouldn't mind hauling these in empty, actually, because we got already got 8,000 kilos of fish in here. Fish. And I'd like to up upgrade the um, the amount I can I can put in the holds. Oh, come on. God, this thing sometimes. No fish. Excellent. Okay, so let's go zippity doo dah over there. Let's see. Let's get the map. We're on autopilot two. Right about no. Okay, yep, right about no. And we'll see if there's any here. I don't think there is, because I, uh, like I said, I, I noticed that uh, the radar had run out. And I was just dumping them to kind of get rid of them. Besides, if I got something, because sometimes the fish move around, so they may have moved into the area a little bit. But setting ourselves up in a better area would probably be better. But as a first run at this, this is not the worst. Oh, oh God. Thomas, hold on, buddy. We're going a little wild here. Yeah, that's that's what I figured. Besides, I don't want to leave fishing gear just laying around the ocean. That's a terrible idea. Boy, this whole episode's been at night, eh? <laughs> Well, he's uh, really taking his time with that, that fish over there, isn't he? Let's pull this one in. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> but at least there wasn't too many that were empty, only a few. So it seems like a zigzag pattern is the way to go, like go up a ways and come back down so you can catch the edge of an entire population. At least it seems to be that way. 
I'm loving this game, though, and I know it doesn't do great as a series, and I know a lot of you aren't big fans, but give it a shot, man. I think it's it's really it's really an interesting concept for a game. What if they're ever going to do another one? I totally buy that. All right, let's haul in some fish. Oh, there is fish on this one. Nice. See? Sometimes you get lucky. Not a lot, but something. Got it. Got it. And... Oop, got it. So what's that? About 500 kilos extra? 600. Nice. So, let's see. So, what do we have? All storage. Remaining. Okay. Gutting. Okay, that's not doing so bad. He's not doing great, but he's doing better than I did. Boy, I have uh, quotas, eh? Let's see. What are all these things, anyway? Oh, those are my lights. That's my crew. Oh, you're getting a little tired. That's all you've done is 384 fish? Okay, well, you know what? We're going to go head back to dock. So we'll take the long way back to port. Um, actually, isn't there like, well, that's undiscovered. What? What? Okay. That'll take six hours to get to Digby. That might give him time to like finish up. Yeah, let's do it. We'll go to Digby. Excellent. Did you get it done, bud? Are you taking a break? Where'd you go? Oh, God, he disappeared. Oh, I still got a gut. Okay, here we go. Start gutting. Well, what good are you, buddy, if you're not going to do it? And he's so much better than I am. He's just really slow. <laughs> now, if we had machine gutting, I bet you that would be better. But we don't have that type of technography on this boat. I do 400 kilos on each fish. Look at that. Boom. Although, like I said, he does it a way better quality than me. Just trying to get right on that line. I didn't do a very good job, but, you know, whatever. Exit. Excellent. So those are all done. So let's um, get back in the pilot seat. We'll dock here. Sell the fresh fish. Well, it's 24 grand. We didn't get a great job for the gutting. We had to expend $425 on poor Thomas there. So we'll sell that, but that's still $24,000. And this, I think, will allow us to upgrade. Oh, 30 grand for this. It's 50 grand for that. Oh, let's get let's get that. And that'll give us money to rebate the lines. But I think that's pretty good. I think we're doing quite well, considering. I'd like to do deep line fishing. Um, No, no, I'm going to check that out there. We're going to get better storage. Um... Because we, we can re-rig for deep line, but we don't quite have enough money for that. So let's uh, let's see here. Fish market. Let's bait our lines. I'm not sure what I'm going to fish for this time, though. So what do we want to bait for? What's in town? Let me see. Bar. Tips. Ah, I don't need lobster tips. But let's... um. Let's see here. What did I want to do? Oh, no. We're going to go fish market. Let's... Fishing gear. Let's bait our long lines. Does it tell us? Oh, here we go. So I think I'm going to go after redfish because that seems to be all right. Although herring really brings in whatever that is. I don't know what all the fish are. So let's, um, what can we bait? The redfish really don't like, but the redfish like that. Let's get that. We're going to bait all of them. Uh, we got 11. There. So those are all baited. We still have money. We're no worse off than when we started. But yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Um, if you want me to buy a new boat, tell me which one you think we should get. There are several here. Like this is this is a lovely boat. I sold this one. Got 10 grand for it. Considering it's worth 450 grand. A little disappointed. <laughs> I gotta say. But anyway, yes. You know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I really like this game. Please watch it.
Out!